Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to potentially hide Discord activity status from your friends or just random strangers when you're using the Discord application. Now, this is actually quite useful if perhaps maybe you're someone who just likes your privacy, or potentially you're maybe part of a gaming clan or group, and you maybe want to do some single player gaming on your own, you don't want people to see that you're actually online playing a game this could be very useful. And also you have to take into consideration Discord being one of those companies that do like to kind of use your data for things. Having them not know what you're actually doing could potentially be beneficial for your own security and for potentially targeted advertising. So let's go over to the computer and we'll show you three ways where you can set it. So there's three ways you can do it. You can do it a global version, you can do it for a per server basis, and also you can just do it on your own individual server. So let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. Okay, so this is my uh, Discord. So I've got this open and I've just got the, uh, the blocked users here. So that's absolutely fine. So what you can do to start off with, if you just want to do it in your own server, so you can right click on your server, go into privacy settings, and this comes up straight away. So you've got the direct messages, which I've currently got turned off, your message requests, and you've got this one here. So activity status. So as it says here, share your activity status in this server. You can also learn more by clicking on the link there. And also you've got the activity join-in. So if you're in a game and the game supports it, you can allow users to join your activity in this server. So if you want to, you can turn that off and also turn that off. And when you're done, click on done. So that is for your own server. The next one we'll check is on a per server basis. So for this one, click on your user settings cog, go to privacy and safety. And at the top here, you can choose the specific server. So if you're a member of various servers, you can go in and set it individually. So for Tech Team GB, for instance, we can have it so that the activity status is on and also to allow joining. So if you're a member of a gaming server, then that might be useful. If you're in a server which isn't really for gaming, maybe you can turn those off. Again, the choice is entirely yours. You can do it on a per server basis, just scroll down through and choose your individual servers. Now the last one is gonna be for global settings. So in order to do that, again, click on the user settings cog, scroll down the side until you get to activity privacy, and this is a global setting. So as it says there, activity status, share your detected activities with others. So again, turn this off and it will do it globally, and also you can do it there. So to share your activity status by default when joining large servers. So if you wanna not have that, get rid of that as well. You'll get a warning come up saying the server for privacy, do you want to apply this activity status setting change to all your existing servers, regardless of size? You can also disable sharing your activity status in individual servers by visiting that server's privacy settings. So there's various ways of doing this. Uh, I do want to do this, so we'll click on yes, and that is the global settings saved. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward, and could potentially save you some embarrassment or some awkward questions. So there you go, pretty straightforward, pretty easy thing to do and could potentially save you from some embarrassment or just for having your activity broadcasted, which you may not like if you're playing some sort of lewd games or something, or you're just trying to get some practice in while your teammates are doing something else. Your reason for doing it is entirely up to you, but hopefully this video has been useful. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is my unboxing reviews and how to, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.